Hello boys and girls and welcome back to the Backlog Challenge with a new video for 2022 uh, video <laughs> that uh, has a long time coming. Well, I haven't posted a theme in a very, very long time. You're probably wondering where I was and well, the truth is I'm so happy with my retro arc theme that I don't see the need to, of making new themes, but then the Red Red Pocket 2 Plus came out. And I own it now. I uh, use this device to record this video at the moment. And the Virtual Pocket 2 Plus is the best bang for the buck that you can get at the moment. Sure, it has some slight problems still, but it can actually play some GameCube, Wii, 3DS and PlayStation 2 games. Some, not all of them. You won't be playing San Andreas on that thing. But because it does play a lot more games, I had to include or make a few new theme pictures. So this is basically an updated theme made especially for the Red Red Pocket 2 Plus, where there is stuff possible that wasn't possible before. Stuff like, for example, let's call over here, the GameCube. Um, those games that I have here ran or run at Playable Suites, well, this here not, this here, the Resident Evil 4 won't be running for very long as Playable Suites. Um, but, for example, 13 runs pretty great on this device. The same thing with uh, Wind Waker, Rich Dips and Samarias, Harvest Moon, basically full speed, Evolution Worlds, basically full speed, Eternal Darkness, some slight dips, stuff like that. And even some Wii games, like Clonoa runs pretty decent yeah some cutscenes are below target frame rate and some areas can dip also but a lot of the game is running full speed on a portable handheld uh, same with uh, some of the other more advanced systems 3ds is probably one of the worst i got Majora's mask to run in some areas full speed and you can play your pokemon and your shin megami tensei strange journey as well as some sonic lost words on it the other games like which last reward are still untested um so i make pictures for those uh Saturn. Saturn is a big thing because Saturn just works now. It just works for like almost all of the games. Uh, so yeah, uh, I added uh, the missing pictures and the link will be in the, do in the download. But there are some things for PS2 and for um, Dolphin in particular that Veteran Pocket 2 Plus owners might want to know about Dick. So if you just want to grab the theme because you have a Veteran Pocket 2 or Veteran Pocket 2 Plus and you just are interested in uh, getting the most up-to-date, the most systems, files, then, uh, then you can just grab it. Uh, link is down in the description. Watch my original video on this theme uh, because I think in that video I explained a little bit about clone files, stuff like that. Um, but here I want to tell you something else. As some of you might know, those systems like the GameCube and the PS2 are using special or new emulators that are not built into DIC. Well, you can build them into DIC on your own. And for GameCube, that's really, really easy. You need to be at 1.0.7 of the Retroid Pocket 2 Plus. Um, I'm not sure how it will be in future uh, versions. So I'm basing this one on the most up-to-date version at the moment, which is 1.0.7. Then you go... Uh, we run the setup script and you get a special Dolphin version. And to get that running, you open the system view so that you see your covers. You press the R1 button, you scroll down to manage system. And I already renamed the emulator, but you basically go to edit emulators. You choose the emulator that you want to change. And this package name here is originally with the Dolphin emulator, it's org.dolphinemu.dolphinemu, which will launch the original Dolphin emulator. We want that special hacked build of Dolphin. So we change it to org.dolphinemu.mmjr. 
and the rest can stay just as it is. And after that, you save the emulator, you click done, you go here, go to manage system, you choose that Dolphin emulator uh, from the list of emulators you can choose and it will launch. Um, I have screen capture on so there's no use of me launching a GameCube game because screen capture it will basically uh, make the performance terrible. Same as with Wii. For the PS2, uh, Ether SX uh, is a new emulator and here are some of the games you can play. Arto Nalego 2 and Atelier Iris Eternal Mana ran at 60 FPS. Atelier Iris even a little bit better. But both will dip when magic effects happen, which will be a common occurrence on that emulator. Final Fantasy X is somewhat playable. Kim Possible? Yeah, that one is fun. <laughs> um, basically, cutscenes won't run at all, like one or two FPS. But as soon as you get in the game, most of the levels seem to run just fine. Some will dip, but most of the levels seem to run just fine. Kingdom Hearts, I haven't tested that Taki got that to run, so I can't vouch for that. Magic Blood, Actress and Actress Again both work. Uh, Actress Again has some graphical glitching in the character sprites, but runs basically full speed while uh, Actress Cadenza has some slight minor slowdowns in heavy special attacks, so when a lot of effects are on the screen. Res mostly works, uh, slows down when a lot of enemies are on the screen. You're better off playing just a Dreamcast version of that, of course. Persona 3 does work, but every time you summon your Persona, frame rate becomes slow as long as you basically summon it. Uh, everything else seems to work just fine. Uh, some areas dip below 30 FPS, but a lot of areas are 30 FPS. Um, Shinobi, uh, I haven't tested it's supposed to run. Persona 4 doesn't run, no. Tetris World runs full speed. East Arc of Napishim runs full speed. So go to R1, Manage System, Edit Emulators, go to New, enter your name. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I uh, go to Eater SX. Uh, oh, add no, the I added it so new and take the name Eater SX2. Package name is xyc.eatersx2.android. Activity is xyc main activity and uh, auto start file. Uh, accept zip files and you save that shit and you're done. So there's one problem with Ether SXX2, it doesn't auto start. Even from we told him, it doesn't do it. But at least it does boot the app. So which is fine. Which is really nice to have.